continuing from the last my last video we were here we were plotting the points which are neat I told you at negative 3 the function has an error now it's very interesting to watch what's happened when x is negative 4 when x is negative 4 y is 0 at negative 3 it has it has an error and can you see what's happening at negative 2 this is going up this is interesting point at negative 2 at negative 4 it is on this part or this branch at negative 3 is undefined and negative 1 it is at 4 okay so let me scroll up uh, scroll down and when x is negative 1 uh, y is 3 uh, this is a difficult to plot I'm not plotting that uh, when x is 1 y is 2.5 okay uh, this is 2 uh, this is 2 and 2.5 I think this is enough so these points and uh, uh, these are points enough so we'll now graph it okay so graphing it let me use a green color here so the graph would uh, now as x approaches uh, when sorry when x is approaching negative 3 uh, I have to explain that when x is approaching 3 from the right it will be approaching infinity okay and when x is approaching negative 3 from the left that will be approaching negative infinity okay I think that uh, I'll show that in a graphical way okay. so the graph would look like this okay. approaching this is never going to touch this line and this is approaching zero or sorry approaching negative two sorry approaching two and then approaching this line okay, so these are the two branches and if you look at these two lines also these two branches they are reflection of each other over these uh, asymptotes so let us graph it and see uh, plot all this okay so um, calculator we'll go to menu menu and we'll go to graph okay so this is so let me so this is equation uh, execute and then draw it so can you see so let me make it a bigger scale so let me make it a 10 by 10 and now you can see I'm going to show I'm going to draw both the so we we told we have said a vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 3 and calculate on this graphic calculator you can plot draw that line so you go exit go to type and this is x is equal to constant so you press f4 and i'm saying i want to draw the line of x is equal to negative 3 so enter negative 3 okay and then draw it so can you see this line this line is the vertical asymptote now this line is approaching that line uh, negative infinity and this is positive infinity now the our horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2 you can also draw that so again type you want to type y1 so I'll type 2 there very interesting to see how okay so suppose let me make a bigger scale say minus say 50 or say 500 to plus 500 scale of 50 and see how it looks like okay no I think this is too big so let me make it say minus 20 to 20 uh, scale of 2 and I had to make this also bigger maybe minus 20 to 20 mm, what, what am I doing minus 20 to 20 scale of 2 and see what happens draw can you see now it has drawn this is the asymptote, vertical asymptote and this is the horizontal asymptote Hopefully all these videos have been helpful. 
see you in the next video